Hey guys, I have a Craftsman air compressor and it finally gave out on me. So after owning it for about three years, keeping it in the garage, it gave out. It was a vertical uh, tank system and it was about two horsepower. I paid $3.99 for it way back. And I'll tell you, I was not happy with that compressor. It took too long to fill up and it gave me other problems. It wouldn't start in cold weather. So I've been shopping around. I said, let me take a shot with uh, Central Pneumatic. I, I shopped Craftsman. I looked at Home Depot. I looked at Lowe's. This, by far, was the best value. It's a uh, 2.5 horsepower engine, 10-gallon tank, and you can connect it to another tank if you'd like. More, more reserved there. But believe me, this is big enough for what I need it for. I run framing nailers. I have an impact wrench. I don't have a mechanics business. I'm a weekend uh, mechanic, I guess you might want to call me. And this is more than enough to power my impact wrench and my framing nail or whatever other nails I have, my finishing nails and trim nails. Um, it was $131 when I got done with all the discounts. And I compared to the other ones that I was looking at in the $200 range and $249 range. Um, I walked away with a bargain, and at first I said, oh, Harbor Freight, you know, how good could it be? And let me tell you, I am very, very impressed with this. When I unboxed it, all I had to do was put the tires, the wheels on it, and the breather, and I was good to go. There's a break-in for this uh, compressor that I'll, I'll go over in a little bit, but it pumps out 5.3 CFMs at 90 PSI so um, that by far had the best rating as far as uh, you know enough to power my tools that I've seen in this size of a compressor and I went online I looked at reviews and pretty much all the reviews were good it takes oil uh, 30 weight oil you have to get the non detergent type one that's made for compressors and the break in was simple on this you fill it up with the oil that they give you which uh, I ended up having to buy oil because I didn't give you enough oil. Uh, I, I didn't make it to the minimum level, fill level to run the compressor. So I went to Sears and I picked up some 30 weight oil. And there's the gauge, by the way. There's where you put it in, and the drain screws right underneath it. So I, I put the oil in, and you have to open the valve in the tank, and you also have to make sure that there's no. Uh, air building in the tank so another thing you have to do is see the quick connect what I did was I stuck a quick disconnect on there to keep it open and I, you run it for 30 minutes when you run it for 30 minutes this thing draws 14 amps of power so uh, I I ended up tripping there's a circuit right there tripping the circuit breaker twice because I plugged it in an outlet that was the furthest from my from my fuse box. So once I put it in the correct outlet, I let it run for 30 straight minutes. It ran, it purred, and it ran without any problems at all. After the 30 minutes were over, I drained the oil. I, there were no big filings in it or anything. It looks like the engine pretty much uh, broke in perfectly. And here's, here's what I found amazing with this. I put synthetic oil back in it and I plugged it in the outlet where it tripped twice and it ran perfect. So um, it will it will run much better once you do that 30 minute break in. If you don't do the 30 minute break in, uh, you're not following your manufacturer's instruction and you might have problems down the road with it. But um, like I said, I'll turn it on in a second. It is loud, you know, it's not quiet compressor. Tell me, most compressors usually are loud when you turn them on. And it cycles it cycles back on at 90 pounds and it it fills up to about 125. Now, what I noticed here's my, between the two gauges, they're pretty accurate. This one ran about 3 pounds higher. Now, if it ran 3 pounds or 5 pounds lower, it would, it would, it would be a problem. I would I would be worried, but it ran three pounds higher. They, they pretty much, they were okay. You know, I set this at 90 and 100 for my uh, nailer, depending on if I want to countersink the nails. But um, 
it, it runs pretty good. I'll turn it on for you. Hey, a couple little quick notes on uh, about this compressor. It's 125 psi, 2.5 horsepower. It's a 10 gallon tank. It's by Central Pneumatic. Uh, told you about the CFM being 5.3 at 90. Uh, horsepower 2.5. Um, let's see, voltage is 120, and the product height's about 23 inches. The weight is 66 pounds, and the width is 13 inches wide, and uh, has a 90-day warranty. And it's 14 amps is what it pulls, so it does need at least a uh, 12 gauge wire to run it. Don't go, don't go using any skinny extension cords because you're gonna, just gonna pop your circuit or uh, the circuit on the uh, compressor. So I plugged it in at a uh, outlet closer to, uh, to the fuse box, the panel that I got here, and I'm gonna turn it on. It filled up in a little bit over a minute, and once you start drawing air from it, it, it cycles back on at 90 pounds. The two gauges, they're pretty accurate. They're almost, if you, if you look at the one on the right, it's maybe, right now, it's probably reading a pound higher. So, there's my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I would recommend this uh, compressor to anybody. Have a good day.